We're doing a um, How Stuff Works today. And today we're going to do a How Stuff Works on um, face bleach. Um, I've got one more little product here too that we're going to play with and see how that little guy works. Now, um, this happens to be a certain brand, but you could get almost any brand. And the deal is that it's going to have inside it the bleach and the activator, I guess. So let's get started and see what happens. We can dance if we want to. I think in reading the directions might be a good idea. Holy crap. They're like written for an ant size. So let's take a look. So it says full spatula of activator. God, it's like reading science. I mean, this shouldn't be this hard. It should have blue and green. Take the blue bottle, put one little bit. Take the green bottle, put two little bits. The end. But everything's got a name, so okay, here we go. So this is the activator stuff, I guess. I don't know. Is this the stupidest bottle you've ever seen? All right, I need to stop complaining. Here we go. This is how this works. How face bleach works. You start with activator powder. Of course, mine is all clumped up, so we're going to shake it. Shake it. Okay, so I'm going to do one little spatula full here. See, it's still not coming out. I need to stop complaining. Okay, I'm going to get in there and kind of dig. I'm digging it out. Always good to play uh, fast and loose with strong chemicals. <laughs> Okay, so what I did was I got a, a globule out, which is not what you're supposed to have. And now I'm gonna do, let's consult the, the uh, Bible as, as according to face bleaching. Now I'm gonna do two times that much of this stuff, this bleachy stuff. Why does mine have silver crap in it? That can't be good. Maybe a robot used it last. Okay, so the way this works is now I'm gonna mix it all up like, it's fun, it's kind of like, it's kind of like mixing frosting. Okay, let's see what it says next. Apply it onto your face, the area to be bleached. So you gotta put it just where it needs to be bleached. So this is the attractive part. It's gonna be really pretty. We're gonna get, you know how these guys go, like that when they shave. I'm gonna do that now. Uh, oh, it stinks. Oh, it stinks kind of. Fu Manchu. I don't think I have anything else to bleach. Oh wait, I have a little whisker down here that needs it. Okay, cool. Now I have like a little goatee. Oh, this is good. Okay, good. And now we gotta watch the clock. Holy crap, it's already starting to burn. What does that mean? I'm not sure how long I can take this. If I have a, a permanent red goatee and Fu Manchu, will you still love me? <laughs> the way this works is that you leave it on and it burns the crap out of your face. But as it does so, it's also um, bleaching the crap out of your hair. We can hope. Okay, let's look at how this thing works. I have the finest baby hair. Like, literally right now I have half a can of hairspray on just to keep it in a ponytail because I have all these little baby hairs. So if you have flyaway hair, you might be like me, holy crap, this is You might see, ah, people who wear those little ele uh, electric headbands. <laughs> Bad thoughts, good thoughts. <sighs> Back to the topic at hand. If you have little baby fine hairs, you may find that you see people with just like a single headband on and it's fine. Well, if you have big floofy hair, that works great. And I'm so jealous of women who have this lovely big hair. But for people like me, mine is so slick. If I put a headband, like a sweatband on my hair to hold it back, I literally have to put four barrettes in to hold it in place or all it does is slide up around my ponytail. So we're gonna try this guy today. So he comes apart, and so now, I don't know, I'm not gonna fasten him around my neck maybe? I gotta get him on somehow. Oh my gosh, you guys, I threw away my spatula. I have to use it to take the stuff off. Hold on. I forgot you scrape it off, you don't wash it off. We got about one more minute. Oh, ooh, it's making me crazy. Okay, so here we go. We're gonna see if this little thing works. Get it over my foam face. I need this to work because 
I have tried like everything in my hair. Oh, there we go. Let's take this crap off our face. Now, kind of like you're unfrosting a cake, you scrape it off. I kind of like a little chin one. I might do that every time just for fun. Ooh, uh, so much better. Alrighty, it's better. And so then it says, look at your little hairs, and if they're not blonde yet, repeat. But you know what? Thank God, mine are blonde. So all we gotta do is, oh yeah, looking good. All I gotta do is rinse. Hold on. We can dance if we want to. Whew. That is not easy. Excuse me. Up close. And you dab. Don't rub because your skin is a little pissed off right now. I gotta tell you, that stuff works. It really does. Let's take a minute to, ch to see how our hair is doing. Well, first of all, I don't think I'd wear this in public, but that's not why I got it. I got it to work out at home. And it is indeed keeping my head off my face. Wiki wiki. That's not right. We could done so if we want to. My hair off my face. Let's see if we can get it off. Kind of looks like cornrows. That's pretty cool. Okay. Okay, cool. Look at that. Easy. Now let's see if we can put it on without the whole... Oh yeah, so it'll go on without having to take it apart. That's cool. And let's try it one more time just to confirm that it did work. This time I'm going to try to set the back first so it doesn't go quite so far up. And I'm going to set the sides and then set the top so that it doesn't go any farther than that. And I just pull my little ears out and that's better. Does this work? Absolutely. How it works? No idea, but it totally does a job. Does this thing work? Yeah, I think so. Subscribe to our channel. Make sure to check out other things about how stuff works. I'm gonna be doing some more for you. I hope you had fun. Share with a friend. See you next time.